everybody we're back and today I have a nice uh, special treat uh, we're gonna go through some of these uh, these older books right here um, a friend of mine at work actually found these in the house that he just moved into it's his grandfather's old house and apparently his grandfather left a, a couple of uh, boxes of books just kind of stashed throughout the house so he just uh he doesn't know anything about comics really so i'm helping him kind of go through them see what he has maybe even get some of these online get them sold and just kind of help him out but i thought it was just a really cool story something that you just kind of hear about from time to time somebody goes downstairs into the basement and finds a bunch of boxes of comics and you know maybe there's a grail in there who knows but um we're gonna go through this stack right now there's uh there's another stack uh, that I have with me and actually he just texted me a few, uh, maybe about a half hour ago and said he found another hundred or so books that are in even better shape than these ones so that'll be interesting we'll probably do maybe a, a two or three parter just kind of going through these books and see what he has see what see what he found and what you know what we got going on so first up we're gonna just go through these and uh i think these ones were a lot of just kind of miscellaneous uh, uh publishers dell comics uh, i think maybe some gold keys might be in here a few different things older books like that so up first we got the three stooges number one and i mean you can see man it's got some wear on it it's got some writing on it these books were definitely read and played with and gone through. That's what's cool about it. I don't know who who read these books, if it was his grandfather, maybe his kids, but man, these, this is awesome. Chamber of Chills. And some of these covers are just amazing. nineteen sixties I'm sure. Let's check this one out. Chamber of Chills. Let's we'll see what we got. Ooh, October nineteen fifty four. Volume one, number twenty five. So nineteen fifty four. Man. That's over half a century ago. And then some. Outlaws of the West. I want to say there's a good amount of uh, Western stuff in here. Ten Cent Comics, 50s, 60s. Yeah, 1962. Yep. Now, I believe, uh, what do we got here? Adventures into the Unknown. I believe uh, he was telling me that this box, <laughs> so this box was in the basement and it was sitting, um, right in a spot where water likes to flow through so the box that they were in was just wet and beat up and soaked and there was another box right next to it that i guess was just kind of beyond uh beyond repair so what he ended up doing was going and uh, this one's tough what he went through and did was he went and had a bonfire with one of the boxes. <laughs> What's going on there? A little risque for for that time, huh? The uh, the tummy slim. That's interesting. The the different things and trends and things that were going on back then. But yeah, he went through and uh, had a bonfire with one of the boxes. <laughs> Secret agent. And, you know, I told him. I said, man, just uh, it's too late now. What you got to do is just forget about it hopefully there wasn't that uh you know that holy grail in there that action comics number one or amazing fantasy 15 we'll never know now student nurse tough ghost starring spooky these ones to me are always cool man U.S. Air Force, the sensational 3,000-mile milk run. I actually might have to get that one to read. That looks awesome. C. 
secrets of young brides. See, so I'm even wondering if, you know, maybe it was his daughter who had some of these at one time. Romantic adventures. His wife, maybe his wife was into comics and, you know, they collected and read books together. Love Diary, another student nurse, Linda Carter. Mm -hmm. El Cid. No idea what that is. The El Cid of our story actually lived. He is a legendary hero of Spain whose real name was Don Rodrigo Diaz de Bivar. The exact date of his birth is unknown, but it's sometime around 1040 AD. Oh man, captivating. Captivating. Edgar Allan Poe's Tales of Terror. These are classics, man. What is that one? Mysterious Island. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, here you go. Mr. Magoo. No glasses needed. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can pick that up. I mean, there's a little bit of a some mold and stuff on there too. We're gonna have to try to clean these up some. And you can actually, you can smell it. You can smell it coming off of these books. The uh, the basement, I wanna say, is kinda what that is. The water, mildew-ish. Ben Casey. This one's seen a little better days. Tom and Jerry. Right there. There you go. Roy Rogers. Hey. Robin Hood. Everybody knows him. Some more uh, Roy Rogers. Right there. Some Woody Woodpecker. Classic. Woody Woodpecker again. Got a 15 center. Let's see. What we got on here? Uh, number 68, 1961. I've got a nice roll to that. Hercules Unchained. Nice. This one too. 77 Sunset Strip. Good old Lassie. Trade for super values at the Dell Trading Post. See inside. I have no idea what that is, but that's intriguing. The Dell Trading Post. I'm going to have to look into that. If any of you guys know what that is, the Dell Trading Post right there, let me know. Send me a message or uh, leave it in the comments. I'm very intrigued on what that what that means and what what you could have done with that at the time. This one's a little extra beat up. Spaceman. Some classic Huckleberry Ham. There you go. Texas John Slaughter. Walt Disney. more uh, Roy Rogers and Trigger okay I forget Trigger all right oh, check that one out nice I'll have to let my wife read this one the Twilight Zone she's into anything uh, scary horror those kind of things Cheyenne now, if you guys have any uh, horror books that that you're reading checking out leave that in the comments let us know so she can uh we can look into picking those up zorro everybody knows zorro ellery queen detective the voodoo victim the curse of cain 1962 may We got here Jungle War Stories. Pretty 
pretty sweet. Sundance. Alright. I wonder. Outlaws force a reformed drifter to betray his friend, Sundance. Dun dun dun. Right. Tarzan tracks the nightmare in the jungle. Well, check this one out. It's got some writing on it, but it's still. Leave it to Beaver. Look at him and Wally. Are they sharing? Oh, they're sharing a, a pop. Look at that. How cute. <laughs> Rocky and his friends. It wasn't even Bullwinkle at the time. It was just Rocky and his friends. Uh, it's 1961, November. Bullwinkle didn't even have his name in the title yet. The Lost World. Alright, we're getting to the end of this stack right here, guys. Beetle Bailey. I never was really in that Beetle Bailey. Well, this guy looks like trouble. Oh, yeah, right there. The trouble is double. And so is the fun in Danny Kay's merriest madcap mix-up on the double. Yeah, that, that guy's a bad guy, man. We can tell. He's up to no good. And we got Felix the Cat. Right there. What do we got here? Team up with Dad for BB gun fun. Indoors. Wow. They got the Daisy Model 1894 and the new Daisy BB6 gun. Check that ad out. Team up with Dad for BB gun fun indoors. Yeah. Now we're talking America. July to September 1963. <laughs> On the back of a Felix the Cat. Yeah. Now this is a... Uh, this is my, one of my heroes right here. Uncle Scrooge. Life goals. Bags of money. He's the man. Take note. Yep. 1960, March. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this, uh, this first stack. Some cool, really cool, old old books the smell isn't that good but hopefully we can do something about that maybe let these guys air out a little bit and see what happens clean them up some but yeah we'll do uh part two hopefully tomorrow we'll get that up maybe wednesday new comic book day maybe we'll do a you know a run through of the next batch and some pickups for wednesday and uh yeah let me know what you guys think all right thanks